Hey guys, welcome back to Texas Yacht. Uh, we are at a field which has been producing pretty good for us, right? Yeah. It's, um, it was used to be the Milo field, so we've taken some good hogs out of this field. Um, right now it's actually wheat, so I'll, I'll be interested to see. It's now mid-March, um, give it another two, three months. Uh, let the wheat grow up a little bit more and see how much action we can see. But uh, just looking at this buy point, Link S sending me pictures, you know, on my phone. Um, the feeder is not running anymore. Feeder, you know, was all messed up for a long time now, and I haven't kept up with it. I got tired of it. But hawks are coming back. They uh, sh start showing up at like 8, 8 p.m. So right at, at sunset, a little after sunset, and uh, has been has been really good in terms of activity. Okay. So um, I'm hoping we'll see something pretty early tonight. Um, I'm still in my 6.5 uh, here, so um, you know, being able to s take some more shots further out should be, should be good. Uh, we do have some, some new rifles coming up. We, we'll be shooting a uh, Bushmaster ACR and 6.8 SPC pretty soon. Um, we got the rifles, we got the ammo. Uh, we need to do some uh, work on it to get our suppressors on there pretty soon and then take it outside it in so if you guys are uh, staying on the channel there will be some some video coming up pretty quick um, but yeah for this weekend uh, six five hopefully some hawks in this field and then we'll probably hit that wheat field later too uh, well depending on how this goes but yeah. um, I think it should be a target rich night for us tonight so I'm pretty excited and uh, let's just go and go check it out yeah let's do it
so we just took that uh, big boar. Well, we, so we thought it was a big sow, actually. Um, when that group came in, in the far corner, we were on the uh, opposite, of, opposite side of the field. So we had to make our way over, you know, you know while being quietly and whatnot. But there was quite a few deer in the field, so one concern was that deer smoking uh, will make us, and then, um, you know, the, the, the hawks take off too. But luckily the deer, um, kind of like exited pretty close to us uh, through the brush, um, and the hogs didn't really didn't really care. But uh, we got close. Our problem though was that um, the shooting lanes we had were pretty narrow. So we had on the left side, the far end of the field, we had cows, and they moved further to the right, which you know uh, decreased our shooting window even further. And then to the right, uh, there's a um, residential home. Uh, kind of like behind the trees, uh, there's a windmill we could see and everything. So we knew where the house was, um, and that was kind of like our, our, our shooting window right there. Um, we didn't want to take any risks, so uh, we really kind of took our gap and distance to that residential home, just making sure that there's no um, ricochets or something which you know would cause issues. Um, so we made a pretty quick decision it was the three of us, uh, Micah, uh, me, and Chris. Uh, Chris had the uh, the 308 bolt action with the 4K on top. Uh, I was shooting the 65 uh, Grendel with the Thor HD. So we made a pretty quick decision. The, the hog passed that tree. Um, that was the biggest hog in the group. And uh, yeah, it, it, it happened pretty quick. So 3, 2, 1, we all shot. Uh, I felt like I was pretty, pretty late in the shot, but um, as I take the shot, my Thor turned off, and I think the battery cap wasn't uh, all the way tightened. Um, it wasn't so much of an issue with the 300 blackout, just because you don't have as much recoil. But now the 6.5 Grendel, there's just a little bit more of a, you know, recoil to it um, that you have to be more careful about it. So really tighten this this battery cap down, uh, which I didn't do. So that was a little bit placed as afterwards. So I, I tightened it down some more. Hopefully, I'm, I'm going to be good now. But it turned off, so uh, I'm hoping I have video, but I'm not sure. So we'll just see how it, how it turns out. And um, then this, uh, that boar, which turned out the boar, that boar ran another 40, 50 yards. Um, all the other hogs uh, exited to the right. Uh, didn't really give us a, a shot shooting opportunity, so we didn't go after those. But that big boar is in the ground. Um, we took some pictures, guessing 220, maybe 220 pounds. Um, had some decent sized cutters on him, but uh, uh, he's in the middle of the field and there's no way we drag that thing uh, anywhere. So uh, we continued scanning around just a little bit in that field, um, but nothing else showed up. It's, it's 9.30 now, so we are on the way to um, a different property, uh, our old trusty uh, wheat field, which um, I'm actually not sure what's planted right now yet, uh, but we have seen a good amount of hogs out there even. Hey, was that a sheriff back there behind us? I'm not sure, but maybe turn the light off, yeah.
So we just uh, moved from that one field, we just shot that one bore uh, to our old trusty wheat field. And is that, is that wheat again? Yeah. Like it, right? Yeah, so yeah. wheat again and uh, we had a lot of hogs in this field and we, we, well, when we pulled up we saw two saunders. Yeah, so right? one in the middle yeah. and this one here. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we made our way down here along the, the tree line. It's, uh, it's fairly bright so we have a, a somewhat of a moon and cloud cover and uh, it's, 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 you know, pretty bright. But the wind was ideal. Um, couldn't have been better, really. Yeah, I agree. Perfect. So we moved down the tree line and uh, kind of like poked around the corner. As as we got closer to this corner down here, we saw some some hogs in the in the trees. So we decided instead of getting too close to the trees, you know, cut over, go over the fence, and then move down. And once we were able to actually look around the corner, there was a ton more hogs. Yeah, just like appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. So. Uh, this field doesn't disappoint. Uh, one more, uh, once more, what, maybe 50, 200? Yeah, it's hard to count. Yeah, it's, we would have to go back and look at the video, but it, it was a lot of hawks again. Um, issue though, we couldn't really get close to the one in the back, so we had to just uh, make do with the group in the front. And uh, in the thermal, we, we thought there's somewhat small-ish sized but uh, as we take the first few four um, I walked up to the first boar and uh, he was actually bigger than anticipated yeah so I think I took a sow maybe this one here uh, all the way to the right uh, try to get another target but um, we were three shooters uh, Micah me and then Chris over the, the 308 bolt action um, I think Chris took down a sow uh, you took down two in the first one. I know I took the first one, DRT. Then I hit one. And I'm not sure. I, I saw it drop. And then the, was it the one that you? Yeah, I through? mean, I saw one uh, who was still trying to get away, but um, I took one shot and then uh, that one went down. I think that was actually this this big four. Maybe so. So maybe uh, one of the other ones was DRT. I don't know. And then as we uh, take photos and you know um, do our thing. Micah keeps scanning and then you saw something in the trees, right? Literally, 60 yards behind us. <laughs> this boar came up and I don't know if he smelled these hogs, um, but I, I just said, Chris and Ronnie, I just, <laughs> there's one right here. And uh, I didn't hesitate, he gave me a broadside shot. Took it and crashed maybe 20 yards, 25 yards in. And uh, I mean, he came out of nowhere, or right here. So, yeah, I went to I went to grab my rifle. I wanted to get a side side of that too, and all of a sudden I just uh, hear the shot going off next to me. But um, yeah, that was good. I was afraid we wouldn't find it in there because it is pretty thick and pretty uh, deep ravines and uh, tall brush and whatnot. But luckily we were able to find it. So good night. Uh, five, six total with the other one, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like what 11, 11 30 or something. Yeah. So, as it usually goes in this field, we uh, we do all this video stuff, and as we just sit here, there's probably a group closing in right now somewhere. So, yeah, let's get back up and scan some more, and maybe we're lucky. Yeah, let's do it. Cool, Texas Yard. <laughs>